Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna give you a little tour of my shower gels. I don't have like that that many stocked up. Actually, I think I have a decent amount. Let's let's think about this. If you watched my hygiene haul, you know that I added a bunch of shower gels to my collection. So I'm gonna be going through those really quickly and then continuing on to all the other ones that I have from mostly Bath & Body Works. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you watched my um, hygiene haul, you know that I added this guy to my collection. This is Olay Star Apple and Hibiscus. So this is just a very nice like apple hibiscus scent. It's very fresh, it's very clean. I love apple scents, so yeah, highly recommend this one. I think it's a beautiful scent. And the Olay body washes are absolutely stunning, amazing, incredible. They're great. I also have this Dove Purifying Detox with Green Clay Renewing of Skin Body Wash type thing. So this smells very spa-like, very green, very clay, very grass, you know, like just all those like things that make you feel like you're at a spa. So this is lovely. The Dove Body Wash is also absolutely amazing. Olay and Dove just chef's kiss. So good. I have this Raw Sugar Body Wash in Watermelon and Fresh Mint. Fruit and mint is my favorite. Watermelon is my favorite. This is like my favorite watermelon smell ever. It kind of smells like the watermelon room spray from Bath & Body Works. This one right here, sugared watermelon, it kind of smells like that. It's a watermelon scent, but it also is very sugary and sweet. I absolutely love this scent. It's so freaking good, one of my favorites. Then I have two of these Quiet and War body washes, Lemon Blossom and Mint, and then I have Peach and Green Tea. These are amazing. This smells like Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea from Bath & Body Works, but like, almost better. I don't know. It just has a very nice peach scent and a tea scent, but the tea isn't like overpowering at all. It smells so good. And this one smells so fresh. Lemon and mint, like it's not cleaning chemically. It's just like a fresh, beautiful, I don't know. I'm obsessed with both of these. These scents are incredible. I've never tried this brand before. Let me know if you have, but so good. Then I have this Soap and Glory Cull of Fruity Body Wash. This smells like those, um, yogurts, like fruity yogurts that have pieces of like peach or something in them. That's what this smells like, literally like a fruity yogurt with pieces of fruit. It smells incredible. I have this Aveeno Nourishing um, Calming uh, kind of lavender body wash. This is a very light scent. Um, it won't be too much, not overpowering. This is perfect for those kind of like nighttime showers and things like that. Really like this. Up next, I have this Hey Humans um, Hydrating Banana and Aloe Body Wash. This is this is so unique. It literally smells like actual real bananas, the way bananas taste, and aloe. It smells so interesting, and yeah, I love this guy. Up next, I have the Olay Watermelon and Agave smell, and this one, smell. It's not a smell, it's also a body wash. This smells like watermelon. I actually, this is more like a fresh watermelon. The raw sugar one is more of a sweet watermelon, which I actually prefer, but this is so fresh and so beautiful, and obviously the formula of these is amazing, so I absolutely love this one. Next, I have these four right here. Might as well talk about them all at the same time. I have Strawberry Soda, Cherry Limeade, Mango Mai Tai, and Watermelon Lemonade. These are just perfect summer, fruity, fresh scents. Very sweet, colorful, like, come on. They're gonna look so cute in the shower, so yeah. Love these, had to grab a shower gel in them. I don't, I actually like the moisturizing body washes a lot more than the shower gels, and the drugstore has cheaper, better options for shower gel usually. So yeah, I am very particular with which scents I get in the shower gels, and they're usually like fun scents like this that I absolutely love. Then I have Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny, such a perfect kind of like guava, suntan lotion-y like summer beach scent. Absolutely love this one, and Firecracker Pop because it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time. So yeah, definitely had to pick up shower gels in these. Then I have Sugar Cherry Crisp, which I absolutely love. The shower gels are usually fruitier than the sprays in my opinion. So had to get a fruity cherry pie scent. It smells so good. It literally smells incredible. Cannot wait to start using this in the fall time. And then also Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte as well. Um, this is a scent that I don't like in the spray or the lotion too much, but in the shower gel, I think it smells like fall, and because the scent doesn't last that long, you can just enjoy that like fall time kind of vibe in the shower and then move on, you know? So yeah, love these. I have this Energy um, Foam Bath and Body Wash in Guava Orange. This is a very like intense in your face energizing kind of scent. So 
yeah, definitely had to pick that up. I have these two moisturizing body washes. This is Into the Night and this is the blueberry one from the Wellness Collection. The Wellness Collection isn't my favorite, but I do love the moisturizing body washes. It does smell like blueberry. It's an okay scent. Um, Into the Night I actually don't like. I'm not a fan of the scent, but in shower gel form, I don't mind it because again, the scent doesn't last that long and it does smell very like going out kind of thing, you know? So in the shower, I can put myself in the going out mood, but then I can put on a fragrance that I enjoy a little more for um, actually wearing out. This is one of those fragrances I want to enjoy for a little bit in the shower, but don't actually want to wear out, if that makes sense. So yeah, have these guys. Then I also have Champagne Sprinkles. This is just a very sugary, slightly overwhelming kind of scent. A little cakey, but not too much. It doesn't have that like intense warm bakery scent. It's just slightly cakey with like sprinkles, raspberry icing. Not like super fruity, but more sweet raspberries. I don't know. Really, really good. I uh, like this. It is a little overwhelming, so I don't use it all the time, just when I want that extra kind of sweet sugary scent. Then I have this mango wash from Victoria's Secret Pink. This is incredible. I love anything mango scented, and this does not disappoint. It smells really, really freaking good, and I actually kind of like the packaging. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. And last but not least, you guys, I have this guy. This is the Dr. Bronner's um, Soap, this is the baby unscented one uh, because you can literally use it everywhere. Um, I like the peppermint one because it makes you feel like crisp, fresh, clean. Um, but these soaps are amazing. I will say I think they're drying. At least the peppermint one is. Like, for example, I had to shower really fast at like 3 a.m. It was so late and I didn't feel like putting lotion on after. I was like itchy. I had like itchy dry skin in the morning. So definitely follow up with the moisturizer. I use these as a step one and then go in with like a fruity or fun shower gel afterwards. But yeah. I do like these. They don't lather that well for me, um, so I end up using a lot of product, even though a little is supposed to go a long way, so that's my own problem, but yeah. These are expensive, but I really like these. They do make me feel more clean. All right, you guys, those are all the shower gels in my collection. Let me know if you have any of these, which ones you love, and if there is one that you think I should try, especially a scent that you think I would like, definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.